In this section we're going to look at the importance of random numbers in selecting samples for the work that you do in collecting data. Random numbers they say are very very important. In fact it says that sampling often depends on random numbers. Now a random number is simply a number that is chosen in such a way that any number could have an equal chance of being chosen. So you're picking a number that comes up equally possible with any other number that you that you could choose from. So if you have a, a set of random numbers from 1 to 10, you could put them into a hat and randomly pick one out and they've all got an even chance of coming out as the first number. And they use that as an illustration. Putting numbers in a hat is one way to do a draw. So that's very typical but it's often not very practical. They also give an example here that if you want a number less than 21 then you write the numbers 1 to 20 on a piece of paper, put them in a hat, mix them around, choose one out and you should have a random number. But the main reason why you use other method, methods is because you often need lots and lots of numbers and so it's not a really practical thing to write them on cards and put them into hats. So we've come up with a concept of a table of random numbers. These are generated by computers and they work um, just like random generators and you do it this way. We'll work with an example. It says down here, let's choose um, five numbers and they've got to be one digit numbers and they've got to be random. So the idea would be to start somewhere randomly. You could basically close your eyes and you could just pick a number and start there. So let's say that we close our eyes and pick a number down here, say number 7. Now I know I've covered up the 9 as well but let's look at just the number 7 there. So there it is there. All right. Now the idea would be simply to go off either to the right or the left or straight up or straight down and the numbers would be random. So if we go this way we could select 7, the next number is 9, number 1, number 8, then number 1 comes up again so we're going to actually cross that out 7, 9, 1 and 8 and skip it so we can have unique numbers let's say and there's the next number 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 random numbers. Right, what about if we were asked to do let's say a two digit number? Well once again we need to select randomly from somewhere so let's take that 6 over there as our beginning point. Now probably best just to close your eyes, pick a point and go with that so that nobody can be judged of just uh, deliberately picking a number. So let's have a look, we need two digit numbers so if we use 62 and we'll just keep going to the right but you could go up or down or left, it doesn't matter, 53. Next one is 87, see how it just jumps across the columns. 91 and 81. Now we'll just double check that no, none of those numbers are repeated. So there you go, that would be the answer for B. And now what about three digit numbers? Well, let's, um, let's start here at number 8 and select three digit numbers. So the first three digit number going this way would be 800. I'm sorry about that, yeah, just 800. The next one would be 583, 418, 587, 389. Now what would happen if a number like this came up? and it was to be a three digit number. Well that actually isn't a three digit number, that would be considered a single digit number five so you just have to skip that and move on to another number. And what happens if you get to the end of the line and you've run out of space? Well simply go off in another direction and um, it doesn't matter which way you go as long as you follow a path you'll be right. The main thing is you just don't go and pick numbers out, you just take a point and you move off in a certain direction and you stick with that till you can't go any further then you make a turn and that's how these tables work. 
I'm just going to push this up a little bit to give us a bit more room. So we'll go up here and back again there. So that's about right. Now it says use the table to find 10 random numbers. Now these have got to be less than 60, 10 numbers. So why don't we start say at um, say at number two here. So let's say that we've put our finger on it and there it is there. And now we want our numbers to be less than 60 and they've got to be uh, 10 of them or less than 60. So in this case what we could do, now does it say two digit? Let's see, use the table to find 10 random numbers which are less than 60. So we will assume maybe two digit numbers. So we could go 29 would be our first one. And then 68 we can't use because 68 is bigger than 60. So we'll miss that one and we'll go to 24. And then 95, we can't use 95. We can use 49. Um, we won't repeat 49. And, and so on. So the main thing is when I get to the end of the line, what do we do? We head off in another direction. So we could go down here and do that one there is 10. That one is 17. We'd have to miss that as 62. And maybe then go backwards, 33, 84, or read them even as 33, 48. It doesn't matter. As long as you do it systematically, it will work. So we'll leave that one there and you can finish that off for yourself. So that's in essence how to use a table of random numbers.